Hello, and welcome to That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer. And guess what? It finally happened. Tonight, or today, or whatever time it happens to be for you when you're watching this, we are going to use some of the hot dogs that I had in the freezer. Because I forgot to thaw anything for dinner. Now, I've got to tell you, one of my wife's favorite things that I do is beanie weenies because it's quick it's tasty and she just likes it so me personally i don't necessarily eat it because it's not really low carb and it's got a lot of sugar in it because of just the fact that it's pork and beans basically so we're going to get these hot dogs and she likes the chicken franks but i've got beef so we're going to use, today we're going to use beef. I'm going to get out four of them. And yeah, they are still frozen. But that's okay. And there goes me wiping my hands on my pants again. All right. So we're going to take about, let me start this. This is, this is my New Wave PIC Flex. It's a something induction cooker it only works with metal pans so it works with cast iron so i'm going to take about oh i don't know a tablespoon of butter and put it in here and let it melt and while that is melting let's see if i can remove a finger i mean cut these hot dogs By the way, this is a good time to mention one of the most dangerous weapons you've got in your kitchen is a dull knife. So I recommend if you've got a kitchen knife that you use all the time, keep it sharp. Keep it impeccably sharp. So there's two of them cut up. And... There we go. That's the hot dogs cut up. The butter is almost there. Yeah, so what we're going to do, you would think I'd put the hot dogs in right now, but no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sweat some onion. And if you've watched me at all, you know that I like to prep onion and celery first part of the week so that I've got it ready. So there's the onion and the celery. And we're going to just sweat that a little bit. And in this bowl, I've got a little diced up red bell pepper, which you may or may not know, a red bell pepper is just a ripe green pepper. There's no heat there at all. I think the, the Scoville scale says zero for a bell pepper. So we're going to just let those soften a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little hole in the middle of the pan. And in that hole, I'll drop in our frozen hot dogs. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook until the hot dogs thaw. And let me let you in on a little secret. I don't have a recipe for this. It's a little bit different every time I make it because it depends on what I have on hand. Like I say, in this case, we have beef hot dogs we would normally have the chicken hot dogs. The other thing that's different this time is I'm using this hot plate thing instead of the stove, which this has an advantage. I can up the heat with a push of a button. 
So I'm at 400 degrees. Look out. I originally bought this hot plate to take to work. Imagine, if you will, an office. It's lunchtime. And all of a sudden you smell bacon frying all over the office. That was me. Yeah. I did hamburgers a couple times too. That was pretty good. I actually had one gentleman, he had gotten a hot dog out of one of those vending machines down downstairs and he asked me if I could cook his hot dog. I just told him there's the pan, go for it. So he cooked his hot dog. I think it was I think he cooked it or I don't remember if I cooked it or he cooked it. But he liked it. Because it was either that or microwave it and nobody microwaves are great but nobody likes them for some reason. Let's see. That's still a little ice cube. But we're almost there. I can smell the aroma of onion, celery, pepper, and hot dogs. And the hot dogs are changing color just a little bit. Let's see. Yep. We're almost at the magic moment. And what is the magic moment? Campbell's pork and beans. Mmm, mmm, good. There we go. And I don't know if you can see this, but there is more hot dogs and vegetables in this pan than there is beans, and that's intentional. But I start, I sp start spreading them around a little bit. It kind of looks like there might be a, an equal proportion there. So I'll let that set for just a minute. And it's already starting to bubble. The secret to pork and beans, if you're doing them in the house, in a pan, out on the grill, in a cast iron pan or anything like that, is you let it come to a boil three times. That's my trick. It's been like I've had that trick for a long time. You stir your beans around until they come to their first boil. You stir it around until it stops boiling. And then you let it come to a second boil. And by the third boil, you'll start to notice that your beans are breaking down. This is what I like to call the liquefaction state. When your pork and beans have liquefied, that means the next morning, when you get those cold pork and beans out of the fridge, you put those cold pork and beans with a dab of ketchup on a piece of white bread. Ooh. <laughs> I know, that's me. Sorry. It's one of those weird things. Yeah, a pork and bean sandwich with a little ketchup. Talk about a hangover cure. Of course, the other hangover cure I'm famous for is spaghetti on a stick. Which isn't really on a stick. What you do is you take your leftover spaghetti the night before, put it in a cup. Put a fork in that cup, put it in the refrigerator. The next morning when you're hungover, take that cup out, do not heat it up. You want that cold because the, it, it's, just, it's soothing. You take the fork out with your spaghetti on the fork. There you go. A spaghetti sickle. You'll thank me. All right. Now, our beans have come to third liquefaction. We're going to turn this off. And 
and they look pretty good. We're friends here. This is the wife's dinner. I think she's going to like it. So, this has been another episode of That's Why We Have Hot Dogs in the Freezer. And that was Beanie Weenies. If you like this episode, please hit the little like button. Subscribe to my channel. And uh, hit the little bell notification so the next time I decide to do something weird like this, you'll get a notification. So... That was been Beanie Weenies. Hit my little face. We'll see you later. Bye.